in the second part of this question how long does it take to reach this height what height is it talking about well it's talking about the maximum height we had to calculate in the previous question okay so we already have maximum height as one of our um, values in our formula we know that initial ve velocity here was given as 378 meters per second we found that uh, in the question it said that it has an initial velocity of 378 meters um, per second we know that the final velocity okay or the future velocity is more accurate is zero meters per second why do we say it's zero meters per second because we are talking about the maximum height at the maximum height the initial or the final velocity is always zero then we have acceleration since acceleration is downwards and we chose in our question upwards to be positive this must be negative since acceleration is towards the earth meters per second squared then um, we also want to calculate time in this instance and time is there for the unknown variable we can now for this question choose a formula that contains time that means it can be average velocity formula it can be this formula it can be not that one doesn't have time in that formula that formula or this formula all of most of the formulas have time in them however I do not want to use a formula that has delta x in because I calculated delta x and I might have made a mistake so rather I'm going to look at a formula with initial velocity final velocity acceleration and time and this one has final velocity initial velocity acceleration and time I am going to use this formula although this one would have also worked doesn't matter any one of those two so writing it down I've got future velocities equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times delta T here future velocity I know is zero initial velocity 378 acceleration negative 9,8 and delta T is what I want to go and calculate so to solve this I subtract negative 378 on both sides so that I get negative 378 is equal to negative 9,8 delta T so to continue this I simply divide both sides with a negative 9,8 no not delta T just negative 9,8 negative 9,8 let's get that answer the negatives will cancel let's just cancel the negatives so that I don't have to use that and 378 divided by 9.8 gives me 38,57 so delta T would be 38,57 seconds that is my answer and if I had to go and input it in here I need to place in all my values I don't know average velocity I know initial velocity is uh, 378 not 0 378 final uh, future velocity is zero change in displacement I did work it out so I should put it in here it tells me to fill in all known values and I calculated in the previous question that this is 7,290 7, meters it's also positive because that's upwards the time it takes is what I just calculated so I'm not putting it in here acceleration is negative 9.8 and now I do my substitution step that is this step which means I simply substitute 0 is equal to 378 plus and in brackets negative 9.8 times and again please don't put the delta you can just put the T preview to make sure and that looks the way I want it to look so then I can enter in my final value my answer value T is equal to and what did I calculate 
38.57 seconds. That's how long, oh, don't forget the unit, but that is how long it will take to reach its maximum height.